Okay, today me and Billy are going to go through all these fretboards that I've treated in different ways. And maybe you could learn from some of the pitfalls of what I've done, or successes, however you feel like looking at it. And let's first start with this maple fretboard on the left. This one was kind of funny. I buffed it with wax. It didn't seem like it had too many problems, but I really just kind of wanted to get a little bit more shine out, out of it. And since there was so much lacquer on it, you could see this one has lacquer going all the way into the frets. Some guitars like 70s USA Stratocasters will have that. The frets are pretty much glued in by lacquer, so I mean you got a lot of paint all over the place, so I just you know buffed the face of it and it's still really shiny. I don't know if I'd recommend that, but it didn't hurt me here, you know what I mean? Now this one, this is my five string bass. I treated this one by alcohol and water. Now I would never recommend that you put alcohol on your guitar, but if it has an odor, I don't know how you're going to kill it. So I poured alcohol all over a rag and then I rinsed the rag off with water. And I just kind of smell tested it to make sure it wasn't like totally alcohol soaked. And now it's dull. You can see I can't really focus in on it. I've stripped some of the oils out of it. So it doesn't stink anymore. This one I got from a guy. This is the Made in Mexico Strat. He could have oiled it or it could be high grade rosewood. High grade rosewood will be that shiny. Now this one I did some stuff to you. This one got uh stained. Now if you stain it, it's going to open up the pores of the wood and you can see it looks really rustic now. That's a very low grade piece of wood. And then I painted it. I don't see what was really wrong with doing that. I even kind of fret leveled it a little, or I mean like scalloped it. It's only scalloped flat. But this one I scalloped like uh, more radically. I stained it, but I didn't uh, paint it yet. Not really focusing too well, but yeah, I was doing some Ingve Malmsteen stuff with this. The stain came out pretty nice on this low grade piece of rosewood. Made it darker. Before it was like orange. So I stained this one too, but I haven't painted it yet. Pretty ugly uh, job that I did there, but I just wanted to feel what it would be like to play a scalloped guitar. So I got all of the wood out of the way. <laughs> now this one, I kind of messed up. If you don't tape it off when you fret level, you're going to just screw up the stock paint underneath. And you can see I have scuffs near all of the frets. And I didn't care. I was like, oh, this is a cheap guitar. And then I found out later, this was a flame maple neck guitar. And I was like, I probably shouldn't have done that. You know, so now I tape everything off really good. Now, if you do it on a rosewood guitar, same thing. It's going to make it pretty ugly. This one could use some stain and paint or oil. This is what it looks like when it's kind of dry. It wasn't a super high grade piece of rosewood, so you have your choices there.